Welcome to Anywhere Math. I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to talk about how to find the slope of a line using any two points on that line. Let's get started. So before we do an example, what exactly is slope? Well, slope is just a way to measure the steepness of a line. And if you uh, have ever skied or snowboard, snowboarded, you would know uh, ski slopes and different ones are have different steepnesses. Some are really steep and, and very difficult and some are a lot flatter and a lot easier. So that's, that's what slope is. It's just how steep a line is. Uh, it's a ratio. And it's a ratio uh, comparing the change in the y, which we call the rise, to the change in the x, which we call the run. Uh, between any two points on a line, we can find the slope with any two points on a line. Um, so here we go. It's a ratio, so we're going to write it as a fraction. So slope, again, is the change in the y over the change in the x. Or you can think of it as the rise over the run. So that's what slope is. Now let's do an example to figure out how to actually find the slope. Example number one, find the slope of each line. So for A, uh, with this graph, here is our line in green. We've got two points labeled 0, 0, and 3, 4. Uh, and again, like I said before, if we have two points on a line, we can find the slope. All we need is two points. And typically, uh, you're going to want to pick points that are easy to work with. So if you look at the line carefully, I could have picked points anywhere along here. But some of these, like if I looked here, well, that looks like it would be 2 and then maybe 2.8, right? That decimal is not going to be very nice to work with. So there's a reason we chose uh, 3, 4, and 0, 0, because they're both, uh, the x and the y coordinates are both whole numbers. So that's nice and easy to work with. So slope, change in the y or the rise over change in x, which we call the run. Well, uh, from this point to this point, what was the change in the y values? Well, we went up 4. Okay, So that's going to go in our numerator. And from 0, 0 to 3, 4, what was our change in x? Well, we went over to the right 3. Uh, and that's a positive 3 when we move to the right. Just like when we go up, that's positive 4. So in this situation, our slope then is 4 thirds, 4 over 3. Okay. Uh, now, you might be asking, well, Mr. Jacobson, what happens if I go the other way? What happens if I want to go from 3, 4 down to 0, 0? Would the slope be the same? And yes, it would. And the reason is because if I go from uh, 3, 4 to 0, 0, my change in y is actually negative 4 because I would be going down 4 and then I would have to go over to the left 3. That would be my change in x. So that would be negative 3 for my change in x. So that would look like, I'll get rid of that. You would have negative 4 because we're going down 4 and you would have negative 3. Uh, for your change in x because we're going to the left 3. Well, if you look, I got negative divided by a negative, which would simplify to 4 thirds, which was the same as what we had before. So the nice thing with slope, it doesn't matter if you go from this point to this point or the other way around, this point to this point. Uh, you should get the same answer if you're doing it correctly. Let's look at B. So again, we're going, uh, we have our, our line here. Uh, that passes through negative 2, negative 2, and passes through 4, 1. So slope, change in the y, the vertical change over the change in the x, the horizontal change. Well, it's very simple. We've got the arrow here. The vertical change is 3 over the horizontal change, which is 6. So that's going to be 3 over 6. Now, notice that's not in simplest form. So what we need to do is simplify that first. And that would give us 1 half. So our slope here would be 1 half. I'll get rid of that. 
And again, our slope over here would be a positive four thirds. Here's some to try on your own. All right, here's example number two. It says graph the line that passes through the following points, then find the slope of the line. So our two points are negative three, five, and four, negative six. So first, let's graph those points. So first thing I'm going to do is graph the line. I've got my snazzy little um, line graph maker thing here. Uh, so first, my first point is negative 3, 5. So I'm going to take this point and I'm going to put it at negative 3 and then up 5. So negative 3, 5 is right there. My next point, 4, negative 6. So again, I go over 4 first and then down negative 6. So 4, negative 6 is going to be right there. So those are my two points. Now I am ready to draw my line. I'm going to choose those two points. And there we go. There is my line. Now let's try to find the slope. Now that we have graphed our line, uh, now it's time to find the slope. So uh, again, like I said before, it does not matter if I go from this point to this point or vice versa, this point to this point. Uh, I just need to be consistent um, with going with my change in Y and my change in X. Now, before I even do that, let's use a little bit of logic. Looking at this line, would I expect my slope to be positive or negative? Well, if you look, this line is going down as we go from left to right. Um, which means it should be a negative slope. If the line is going this way, as we go from left to right, it's going up, that would be a positive slope. A horizontal line, zero slope, and a vertical line is a slope that's undefined. Um, but let's get back to this problem at hand. So we're expecting a negative slope, so let's keep that in mind. Uh, so first, well, what is my change in Y? Well, I'm going to go from this point here, uh, negative 3, 5, down to 4, negative 6. So my change in Y is right here. Okay. So let's count that. Well, it goes from 5 down to 0 here. So that's negative 5. And then we go from 0 down 6 more. So negative 5 and negative 6. That gives me negative 11. Okay, and if you want, maybe kind of the slow way would be just to count all the squares. You could do that. But, but really think uh, you're going from 5 all the way down to negative 6. Okay, and also you can also look at that over here with our original points. I'm going from 5 in my y coordinate down to negative 6 uh, in this y coordinate here, and that is a change of negative 11. Uh, so next, let's do my change in in X, my horizontal change, well, that's going to be uh, right there. And again, you could count it, uh, but I can also think, well, I was at negative 3 on my X coordinate here. Now I am all the way up to 4. So from negative 3 to 0, that's a change of positive 3. And then from 0, 4 more, that's going to be positive 7. So from negative 3, up to 4, that's a change of 7. And because we're going uh, towards the right, that's positive 7. So now we're ready to write the slope. Slope, again, is the vertical change, the rise, um, the change in the y values over the change in the x. So my slope is now negative 11 sevenths. Okay? Here's some more to try on your own. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, if you like this video, please subscribe.